Hello, 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 my sassy soul sisters and friends. Welcome back, Sassy here. And we're just on our marathon today. I don't know if this will upload today, but I must have done six unboxings on this Monday. Holy cow. So yeah, we have with us today Midnight Muses from Sugar Muses. And this is just under $40 with shipping, okay? So I believe it's like $32 and then like $7 in shipping coming to $39. I had started to um, do this. I just haven't done this spot. Or maybe I did. Did I do all the tape? I'm like, I thought I did. Let's get into it. If I can open the box. I don't know what's still. I don't know where it's still taped at. <laughs> oh. Was that it? We got this. Or maybe we don't. Oh my goodness, guys. You know what it is. It's upside down. It's supposed to be like this. I can't with myself. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Salt and Sea Midnight Muses. And that was actually a sneak peek at the contents that we will read later. Look at the beautiful artwork with the mermaid. Oh, I love it. Sea Witch Vibes. Love that. We have that artwork. That I'm gonna... I was gonna try and display it, but that's not working. So we're gonna leave that right there, my friends. Look at this beautiful sea green candle. Oh, it's beautiful beeswax candle and then right on top i see an affirmation card for ambition set your sights beyond the horizon it's a beautiful mermaid card already loving this theme already loving it all right what are we gonna do next my friends we're gonna jump right into the oil Usually my favorite part. Also, um, she came out with a new box, a perfume box. Um, it is out now. And if you would like to see a sneak peek of it, I will link below June Mermaid's channel because she actually just did an unboxing on the Sugar Muses perfume box. So you can go check that out. First of all, well, I love how all her labels always match salt and sea. And it says notes sea salt, kelp, and sea moss. All right. Those are just bubbles. Oh, but what? This smells so good. That's what kelp and sea, does it say sea moss smell like? Really? That smells beautiful. I really like that. It's a very fresh scent. That is a very nice scent. I like that a lot. I'm just going to keep sniffing. That might be my new scent right there. Loving that. All right. Next up, I see my little bag of herbs or maybe it's tea we shall see underneath we have herbs elemental water herb blend so we will read about that but we have a nice sack of herbs let's smell it let's give it a little whiff very earthy i'm not sure all that's in there but if I had to guess, I 
would say that maybe there is a little sea moss or something in there. I don't know, but it smells good. I don't want to keep you guys in suspense. We're going to keep it moving along. Elemental waters. And then underneath, I see that we have our incense. Oh, driftwood. Oh, that smells so magical. Oh, that smells so good. I really enjoy that smell. Going with the theme. All right, and then I'm gonna go over here to whatever this. Oh, it looks like three jars of salts. We have our black salt. Little apothecary jars, and then we have our pink salt. And then we have our sea salt. Cute little apothecary jars. I'm gonna put right here. For you all to see. And then up next, this thing is just like staring me in the face. It's a huge piece of something. Let's see. It's a peachy color. A big chunk. If I would guess, I would say this is a big chunk of Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt. Yeah, like a raw piece. I do have some of this. This is a nice chunk. Oh, look at how cute this bag is with the polka dots. I don't think I have a polka dotted one. I'm loving the theme of this. I'm gonna dig underneath here and we have a silver mint caffeine free tea. I love it, I got another mint tea today. It was like the universe knew that I used the last of my mint tea and it was like, here you go, girl, we got you. Oh, I just love the smell of mint. So we have that with us. Nice cup of tea. And then last but not least, we also have a muslin tea bag to go with our tea. And then we have our big item. You guys ready for this? like some type of besom very carefully wrapped and I'm just kind of like unrolling oh let's see if we can oh wow the handle to this oh I was not expecting this at all wow that is really beautiful it has a piece of um green adventuring right in the middle right there Oh, and a piece of fluorite, like a little fluorite um, tower right here. And I think this is just a piece to, um, yeah, that was just to protect the tip of it as it was traveling to me. I love that she did that. That is gorgeous. No, now I have a little sea piece. Um, Let's read about it. I love this. And I know she made this. I can just tell. I just have a feeling. And if she didn't, then I'm wrong. But I do. I just have that feeling that she made this. Let's read about the things. I love this. It's so cute. All right. Salt has been used magically throughout history. One of the most common magical acts is throwing salt over your left shoulder after spilling some, which was considered to be an omen of bad luck. It was believed that evil sits on the left shoulder, so throwing salt at it would prevent bad luck from happening. The other well-known magical use of salt is for casting a circle, which we have been modified in modern practice, so the cleanup is easier. 
which has been modified in modern practice so the cleanup is easier. Um, crystals and other tools can be cleansed by placing them into a bowl of sea salt overnight. It can be added to sprays to use around doorways, windows, and thresholds to create a protective barrier. A ritual bath with sea salt can be effective in removing negative energy. Salt is considered to be a pure and sacred substance that has the ability to cleanse, purify, and has endless uses in magic. Items can be used in the order they are listed or separately as you are called to do so. Also, look at our paperwork with the imagery of the beautiful mermaid in the background and it's just all the little details. I love it. Um, all herbs, oils, and teas are organic and made using family recipes. Please use caution when burning incense and candles. Perform a test patch before using anything topically. Um, consult with a physician if you're pregnant before using herbs and essential oils. All right, let's go over the items. Driftwood incense. This blank blend contains blonde woods and non-endangered Australian sandalwood oil. Oh, nice. And you can use this to cleanse your tools, purify your space through your spells and rituals. So it says, while it may seem strange to put a dry desert tree in the elemental category of water, the assignment harkens back to the ancient Indian practice of Ayurveda. Ayurveda. Ayurvedic medicine classifies sandalwood as cooling, aphrodisiac, and anti-inflammatory, all watery traits in Western esotericism. The lunar association comes from sandalwood's pale color and reputation as a meditative aid. This bun contains natural ingredients used in a fireproof holder. All right, so we have that. We have our salt trio bottles right here. Our three salts. And it says sea salt, black salt, and pink salt can be placed on your altar or added to spell bags. Sea salt can be used for purification, protection, and purging unwanted energies. Black salt can be made, can be made different ways. This salt is from volcanic rock produced in the Himalayan regions. It is a potent substance often used for banishing, binding, and protection. It is said to repel low negative negativity and promote positivity. Then the pink salt is another name for Himalayan salt. It is known as the purest salt on earth and is about 250 million years old. Oh, gee, you are old. You look good. It gets its pink hue from the iron in it, which makes it a potent warding ingredient. It can be used in spells for friendship, love, healing, and protection. And these are for external use only. And it looks like she put some little herbs in her sea salt too. So we have our three salts. There's a thing over here to open our third eye. She gives us little rituals in here. And then we have a salt and sea perfume oil. It smells so good, guys. Oh, it smells so good. It says shake gently before using. Use as a ritual oil by adding a few drops to dress candles before burning and or anoint your pulse points to promote the energy of protection and purification. Wear as a perfume to carry your intentions with you. Our perfume oils are genderless. External use only. Always perform a skin test before applying. If you experience any irritation, discontinue use. Store in a cool place, not exposed to heat or direct sunlight. I've never had a problem with any of her oils. I love them. I use them literally every single day of my life, morning and night. Elemental Water Herb Blend, which is right here, my friends. And it says this blend contains olive leaf and other herbs. Beeswax candles can be lightly rolled in herbs before burning. Oh, that's what it says. <laughs> it just says other herbs. That's okay. Um, I'll probably, because I don't know everything that's in it, I'll probably use it for like offerings and also anointing candles. Hand rolled beeswax candle with echo friendly wick. Place on, place on your altar, it can be used to promote, release, healing, and going with the flow of the universe. 
Use caution when burning candles. Burn on a heat-proof surface away from children, pets, drafts, and other objects. And never keep your candle burning unattended because things will happen. <laughs> Trust and believe. Then we have our Himalayan, raw Himalayan salt. Nice big chunk of that. Himalayan salt is known for its natural purifying properties and high vibrational frequency. It is believed that negative energy is low in vibration and Himalayan salt baths can help elevate the energy. Himalayan crystal mineral salt has very similar properties to rose quartz and is an excellent crystal for love, especially self-love. It not only helps one to experience self-love, but also to take action and do things that self-love implies. For example, finding sense of purpose to live a healthier lifestyle, learning to say no, or to take time for personal recreation and enjoyment. Himalayan crystal mineral salt has gentle but strong grounding and centering energies, and is said to bring abundance and prosperity into a home. Place on your altar alone or grouped with other crystals. Do not consume <laughs> the fact that she says that. You can just be like, yeah, put this in my french fries. <laughs> just start gnawing at it. <laughs> Sorry. All right, then we have our gemstone altar broom, which is absolutely <gasps> adorable. And I am being a klutz. I'm like, I should have kept that thing on the tip, but I'm good. I didn't ruin it. Um, altar brooms are useful for cleaning up the surface of your altar working space. Featuring blue appetite or fluorite. So I did get fluorite. Some people got appetite. Um, which adds the magical properties of water to this magical tool. Handcrafted, this altar broom is designed to sweep away negative energies, leaving behind a clean and harmless environment for spiritual practices. The tip of the gemstone may have a protective piece that can be removed. Oh, that was that piece that I took off already. Don't mind me. But I really like that. That's really pretty. I've seen wands with like, you know, the points, but I've never seen a piece of them like that. So that's really cool. Then we have our silver mint organic tea. Has some tea to help ground any extra energy after spells and rituals. Included is a muslin tea bag to use with your loose leaf tea. Let me have that right here. And then intuitively drawn inspirational card drawn from the sea melodies deck the sea melodies cute deck take a moment to reflect on the meaning it has to you of any insight it may bring ambition and then our siren art print place on your altar or add to your bos or grimoire collage art consists of various components that are artistically put together to create each month's art print all rights reserved artwork and written work may not be duplicated sold or redistributed in any form midnight muses and on the other side um may you find the answers you seek during your rituals be successful in all of your castings and may the magic of july fill your month with many blessings and insights with love and magic christy and dina this is such a cute box i i really enjoyed this box i mean i don't know there's just something about this besom and i have quite a few besoms but I don't have one like this and I like this because this one will be my um, sunroom besom because out there is where my I guess you could say my sea witch theme is <laughs> but my yeah my ocean themed altar is out there so this will be a perfect addition to it and I can clean up in there with this. So I do love that. The print was beautiful also. And I love me some tea. And this smells so good. Like, oh, I wish we had smell-o-vision. I really do. And it's crazy because I don't know what kelp and sea moss smell like, but the sound of what they smell like is not what they smell like, if that makes sense. 
Like they smell so like refreshing and oh, like a breath of a breeze, not a breath, a breeze of fresh air. Like if you're on a mountain and the waves are crashing, I don't know, a cliff. I said a mountain, I meant a cliff. <laughs> and the waves are crashing and that breeze comes by and it's like that clean, fresh smell. Oh, it just smells so good. Really am enjoying that. So yeah, really enjoyed this box. I can't wait to see what the other two themes are for this month with the, um, I call it the cousin. Well, the larger size to this one, which would be the Midnight Muses Lux box will be coming. And then the Sugar Muses Deluxe box will be coming too. So I am super excited for those. Love this box. Very useful items. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Always love hearing your feedback. And until next time, my friends. Spread some peace, spread that love around, and stay a little sassy, my friends. Bye.